You're awake already, huh? With the speed you hit the ground, I thought you'd be out for another couple of hours. How's your head, by the way? That's quite the nasty cut on your eye, huh? But if you're going to insist on being the hero, it's your own fault when you get knocked off the pedestal. I mean, come on. Do those idiots look like they care about you? I went to the trouble of getting you a room with a view. The least you can do is use the window. There you go. Now. You see them down there, as plainly as I do. Are they running around in panic because you're missing? <laughs> Honestly, do they look like they care about anyone but themselves? But you've been gone in about an hour. That's more than enough time for people to have caused an uproar and sent out a search party. But, uh, I don't see them doing any of that. Is it possible now? Hear me out here. Is it possible that you're only a hero in your own eyes? I mean, it exists. You know, the hero complex. You save a few cats from trees. Small old ladies tell you that you're making the world a better place and bam, you think you're somebody. But buddy, the only person who knows where you are right now, and whether you're dead or alive, is me. So maybe you should stop spewing empty threats, and consider the position that you're in. It's interesting, you know? To say you're supposed to be untouchable. <laughs> I seem to have pretty well detained with some basic padlocks and an $8 chain from Amazon. What, aren't you going to incinerate me with those laser eyes of yours? Break out with your super strength? Or are your powers more niche than that? Oh, I do apologize. I haven't managed to pin you down until now. So you're quite the mystery to me. Tell me, hero. What makes you so special? Don't you think that rather than giving the scum of this world a slap on the wrist, it would be far more efficient to decimate them where they stand? But I guess you have the tried and true test method. Put a person in a steel box for a few years and they suddenly want to frolic in flower fields and weave daisy chains. Why would they possibly be thinking about revenge when you've done so much to rehabilitate them? Why, it's unthinkable. But I interrupted you. Consider that one of my flaws. You were saying? Uh, your, your powers. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You think that's a power? <laughs> oh boy. I can eviscerate a person in a blink of an eye. They don't even have a chance to register I'm there. By the time they see my shadow, it's already too late. Now that is what I call a power hero. <laughs> oh, hush with your nonsense. Vowing your revenge on me isn't a threat, baby. It's a promise. And one you clearly can't keep. I mean, look at you. You couldn't fight your way out of a paper bag. I'll be honest with you, nobody realistically monologues for this long. I'm almost rooting for you to escape and save the day. Almost. But, that would be quite inconvenient for me. You see, the only thing you're good at is getting in my way. I might as well explain my plan. Heroes often end up helplessly sitting through the exposition of a villain's intentions, only to best them at the last minute. But I really don't think that's gonna happen here. You might surprise me, who knows? But it seems very unlikely. Anyway, 
You know how there's sounds only dogs can hear, correct? And humans have created a device which generates that frequency and pretty much forces them to obey. Well, I hardly think that's fair. As we speak, a frequency is being broadcasted across the city, which will make humans bow down and obey whatever commands are given to them. I think it will be far more effective against criminals than a conquered cave, do you not? Ah, well, would you look at that, that particular frequency, make people explode. Well, every experiment has its kinks, you get expected to work perfectly on the first attempt. Excuse me a moment, but I need to address this. Can we, uh, turn the frequency down? People are exploding, you moron! Turn it down! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's not easy being the anti-hero. Ironic, really? Since the city really could have done with someone to save them, you're not going to be affected by that level of hurts, so could have easily got people to safety. Oh well. You can't make improvements to the law without breaking a few humans, isn't that how the saying goes? No? Well, it's something like that. There's no use crying over spilled blood. Help me out here, babe. I'm trying. No. Honestly, you're such a killjoy. Ah, there we go now. Now, we're in business. See? Your beloved citizens on their knees. Just like I told you they would be. Speaking on being on one's knees. Nah. That look in your eyes said you bite. I don't have time to waste with such frivolities anyway. I have a city to save. Ciao! It's such a shame that the first run was a failure. There may have been innocence among that crowd. I know they're simply crushed ants on the path of progress, but they're still lives. Lives I ended. I just want to stop people from going through the suffering I endure. Is that too much to ask? Is it worth the carnage I'm causing? No. I've come too far. I can't stop now. At least the so-called hero can't get in my way anymore. And it looks like everything is going as planned. This is going to work. It has to. I promise none of this will be in vain. I'll fix the system. You'll see. They'll all see.